But there's something really exciting happening with Target, everybody. So Target has a Target on their back. Target is freaking out. Target is holding emergency meetings. They're worried that they're losing their customer base. Everybody, keep the pressure on. We need to go after Target in a very serious way. It is time for decent, ordinary Americans who do not believe in radical ideas in either direction to just say, I will not allow my kids to be corrupted by this trans agenda. And it looks, Target is, looks like they're caving. They say they're putting the clothes in the back. I don't want, I want Target to go bankrupt. I want them to close. I want chapter 11, okay? Let's get into some of these details of what Charlie Kirk is talking about here. He's referencing the annual Pride merchandise that's sold at Target stores. Here are some examples of what they're selling. You've got rainbow suits, you've got shirts that say queer. Of course, he says, you know, the anti-trans agenda is, is what really what they're fighting for. They talk about the trans agenda being at the heart of this. The LGBTQ plus community has been under attack for quite some time. And because of these direct threats from right wingers like Charlie Kirk and the likes, uh, Target had to release this statement. They said yesterday, for more than a decade, Target has offered an assortment of products aimed at celebrating Pride Month. Since introducing this year's collection, we've experienced threats impacting our team members' sense of safety and well being while at work. Given these volatile circumstances, we're making adjustments to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. Our focus is now on moving forward with our continuing commitment to the LGBTQIA plus community and standing with them as we celebrate Pride Month and throughout the year. So as Target states, it's because of fear for employee safety, which is incredibly sad. It shows how easily Target will cave just for a buck to make their customer base happy. But now additionally, customers posted videos on TikTok Showing Pride merchandise displays have been moved to less visible locations, including all the way to the back of the store when they're usually in the front. So take a look at what this one creator on TikTok highlighted. You know, people get on my nerves. So while somebody came in complaining about the first thing they see when they come in Target was a Pride station, claims upper management, upper management folded like a pretzel. And they made my girl right here move the whole section, well, not by herself, but they had to help her. The whole section was full of pride clothes and had to go to the back of the store because the guests didn't want to see it. So look at my friend here moving all their pride stuff, offended and shame on them people. Now all this comes at a time where we've got an unprecedented fight for LGBTQ rights in America. Reporting from NBC, a historic 480 80 anti-LGBTQ bills have been filed in state legislators across the country this year. According to the American Civil Liberties Union with lawmakers enacting laws to curtail education on LGBTQ issues in schools, drag performances and transition related health care, among other provisions. A poll from CNN shows how this year compares to previous years. So you can see in 2018, the number of anti LGBTQ bills introduced in state legislators each session. So 42 in 2018, compare that to the 417 in 2023 with the data that they were using, or just from last year, 180. We're already at more than double. So as a reminder of, of the state of things, let's look at this Matt Walsh tweet from yesterday. He said the goal is to make quote pride toxic for brands. If they decide to shove this garbage in their face, they should know that they'll pay a price. It won't be worth whatever they think they'll gain. First Bud Light and now Target. Our campaign is making progress. Let's keep it going. I don't know, kind of sounds to me like they're trying to do cancel culture. I thought they hated cancel culture. Now they're trying to cancel Target. I remember a time when Donald Trump was campaigning and he held up a rainbow flag that said LGBTQ plus for Trump. So a lot has changed in the right. And one of the TikTok creators that I love, Victoria Hammett, posted the analogy of the frog in boiling water and the descent into fascism on the right. That if you throw a frog into a pot of water that's already boiling, it'll jump out. But if you put a frog into room temperature water and then you turn up the heat until it's boiling, the frog will actually stay in and end up dying. And that's really how we see the descent into fascism on the right in America. Ben, I want to bring you in here. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I couldn't agree more, except sadly, there's no separating the Republican Party from the country at large because we're allowing it to happen. So it's the descent into fascism as a country that we mm -hmm. are 
witnessing and suffering from and there is no great solution being implemented yet to stop that. Because like you said, just a few years ago, the Republican Party in some ways embracing the rainbow and that I thought was long settled that you know they fought that maybe 20 years ago and then it was all good. And now because culture wars are politically beneficial to them because it's red meat to the base, they just do it simply for political gain without any not without any sensical rationale behind it. I mean, Charlie Kirk saying something very exciting is happening and all of them just chomping at the bit salivating over how they get to get to make political points over somebody just over a company just embracing people and embracing people's differences and then lying about it and saying they have transgender underwear for toddlers. It's just not true and a TikToker bringing it from the adult section into the kid section and pretending it's kid section and that becomes fact among these brainless people. And I don't think you can blame Target for taking some actions to adjust it because their employees didn't sign up for minimum wage jobs or low paying jobs to work in a war zone and to have to confront angry idiots that are coming in there roided out after vlogging in their cars about how fascism's already come <laughs> to America after they literally just just probably inhaled some ketamine and then went and pumped out some quick workout and then storm angrily into a target. And that's not their job to handle that, to have to deal with that. It's just rainbow clothing and these people are acting as though it's something that's destroying America. Matt Walsh on his show, it's where I talked about my Rebel HQ video that just came out today, says that everything leftist is satanic. Everything leftist is from the devil. When you come from that perspective, there is no way to have a reasonable argument. There's no way to shut that kind of discourse down unless we start strengthening and enforcing hate crime laws. Somebody goes into a target, tears down a rainbow display, that should be prosecuted as a hate crime. That's how you can push back against this. Otherwise, you're gonna have people continuing to make huge scenes and you're not gonna be allowed to just support People, Handy said in his show yesterday, why would Target wade into these political issues? Why are they taking controversial stances? They're there to make money. No, Sean, you're there only to make money. Some companies might be there to actually provide services or products for all people who might need those things. And if they don't see that and they just see the company themselves as being political and them needing to respond to a political act when that's not true, we're not even coming from the same base point and there's no way for us to ever see eye to eye. It's a real big problem. Yeah, there's two main sources of hypocrisy in what you just said. One, these are folks who like really love the free market. They really love the idea that supply and demand is what controls what products and goods and services are made in our economy. Perhaps Target is just meeting demand with supply. There are people who are members of the LGBTQ plus community who might want to wear a rainbow shirt during Pride Month. And it's really antithetical to the rights notion that they talk about a lot that we live in a free country and a free society and we can't have the government infringe too much on our rights. But yet they think it's their right or their duty to make it so that people can't belong to a certain community or have a certain sexual identity or sexual orientation or have a different gender identity than their their sex assigned at birth. That's absurd. If you really believe in a free society, people should be able to have whatever identity they want and live their life however they choose to. It doesn't hurt anybody else. And so it's so antithetical to all these things that they claim to love and support. And it's clear that their hypocrisy just goes in the direction of they really want to live in a world that adheres to this patriarchal, very traditionalist Christian lifestyle. And that's not a lifestyle that everybody wants. So if you want to live in an actually free country, Maybe we don't cancel Target for selling rainbow t-shirts. It seems simple to me. Any final thoughts on this, Ben? Yeah, I agree with you completely. And another clip I saw on that Hannity clip that I show in my video is one of the panelists says, all families wanna be able to do is go into Target in peace. And they can't do that with these displays. The very premise of all of these thoughts is so bigoted and closed minded and just factually inaccurate. You could go in, in peace by just seeing another group represented, taking a deep breath and continuing to walk and your peace is still intact. 
When the peace is destroyed is when you see that and all of your political leaders on your side of the aisle say, this is war, this is unconscionable, this is indoctrinating children. While they don't say a damn word about the literal grooming and abuse of children in the Catholic Church that just came out again this week about numbers and states in our country that have been far higher than ever reported before. Charlie Kirk's not encouraging a, a, a banning of the Catholic Church when they literally are molesting children. If that's not the perfect proof of this hypocrisy, nothing is. Yeah, how cowardly to walk into Target and be like, ah, it's a rainbow t-shirt. It's My says piece queer. is destroyed. It's so brave. Oh.